Hello and welcome to Uniquely Crochet. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on a crochet kango. Okay, um, I'm, I am inspired by one virtuous woman. She makes the um, the crochango and um, I really, really like it. I've been making several of them. Um, I'll show you a couple. This color, I made this color blue, and I made this variegated color. And I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about because I know you really can't see it because those aren't finished. That's why I didn't show you the whole thing. But we're making one of these crochangos just like this. And I'm going to show you how to make them. But this is it. And if you want to learn how to make one of these, then stick around with me, okay? And I'll help you. All right. So I'll be right back. Let me tell you what the supplies you're going to need. I always use my Susan Bates. I just like these crochet hooks. Those are my favorite. And out of that pack, you're going to need a number six Susan Bates, okay? You're going to need a number six. And I am going to be using some yarn that I have left over from when AC Moores was around. And so I'm gonna use this color, okay? And it is called Pastel Peach. All right, so get your number six hook ready. And um, you need a crochet hook, like a, not a crochet hook, but a darning needle. One of these, you're gonna need one of these and of course, a pair of scissors, okay? All right, I'll see you in a few minutes with your supplies and we'll get started. Hey guys, I'm back and um, actually the person that I'm inspired by, her name is One Virtuous Woman, okay? I wanna make sure I give her her props because um, she made an amazing hat um, and she was inspired by other people as well. So anyway, um, I also forgot to tell you, you're going to need one of these. This is a stitch marker. So I'll let you know when you need one of these. If you do not have one of these, that is fine. All you have to do is cut um, a small length of yarn, just about like this much. I would do a different color um, and that's it. And that can be your stitch marker. Okay. No um, worries. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to take the camera off of me and we're going to put the camera on my hands. All right. Okay, so let's see. I probably need to move that back a little bit. Put this on my hands. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make a slip knot. And to make a slip knot, you wrap it around and you're going to do just like that. I'm going to do that one more time to form a slip knot. And I'll roll it over and pull through like that. Okay, you're going to take your number six hook. And you're going to chain 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, yours should look like that. You should have 15. And the next step after your 15, you're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then in each across. Okay, so that means not not the one that's on there, but the second chain from the hook, not this one, but this one right here. So we're going to go in there and we're going to do single crochets. You should have 14 left. So there's one. Two three, four, five, come on, get in there, five, six, make sure I stay in the camera, seven, eight, nine, oh, come on, nine, ten, 11, 12, 
12, 13, 14. Okay, so you should have 14 stitches and it should look like this. You're going to chain one and turn your work. Okay, one moment. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. So we're back. And what we're going to do next, we're on, okay, we uh, chained 15. We went into our second stitch from the hook and we single crocheted all the way down. This is what we did so far. And now we're about, we um, turned our work, chained one and turned our work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in the first stitch. Single crochet, single crochet in the first stitch. Then we're going to do two single crochets in the next, in the same stitch. In the next stitch, you're going to put two. Okay? So one single crochet and then two in the same stitch. And now you're going to go all the way down. You're going to keep doing single crochets all the way down until you get to the next to the last stitch. Because we want to do the same thing that we did at the beginning on the end. Okay, so we're going to keep going all the way down. Keep going. Because we're adding stitches in now because we want this to grow so that it'll be able to fit our head. So now I have two stitches left. I'm going to put two stitches in the next stitch, next to the last stitch, and then I'm going to put one stitch in the last, there, So there, and we're working with single crochets, guys. Okay, so now what you're going to do, chain one and turn your work. So it should be looking like this so far. All right, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to do single crochets all the way across. So you're going to start with your first one and you should have 16. So go ahead and single crochet all the way across and count your stitches because you should have 16. Okay. Go right ahead. Go down. We're not putting two in any stitches. We're just doing one in each stitch. One single crochet in each stitch. This is going to be a pretty color hat. I like the vibrant colors, especially with the sum with summertime. But you can make these for winter as well. I made one in black for my uncle. I made one in gray for my other uncle. Um my husband's um, uncle. He's my uncle too. All right, so this is my last stitch right here. And you're going to chain one and turn your work. So it should be looking like this so far. Okay. So now what we're going to do from rows four to 11, and this is what I usually do. I'm going to show you what I usually do. I get a piece of paper and I write down four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I write that down unless you have a, a row counter. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do from four eleven, you're gonna repeat rows two and three. Okay? And you'll have 24 stitches when you're done with row eleven. So okay, I'm gonna do row four. And row five with you and then i'm going to leave you to do the rest up into row 11 then i'll come back all right so we're on row four and since we did um single crochets all the way across um row two was we put a single crochet in the first stitch and then two in the next two single crochets in that one stitch right and then all you're going to go all the way down until you get to the last two stitches. And then you're going to put two and then you're going to put one. Okay, so let's do that together. I'm going all the way down, single crocheting all the way down. Keep 
going. And this is a, a really nice um, hat and you can make them for gifts, make them for the holidays. Um, you know, I made, uh, actually I made two of these hats for two attorneys and I made top crochet ties to match them. And they really like that. So now I'm down to my last two stitches. I'm gonna put two in the same stitch and my very last one, I'm going to put one single crochet. Chain one and turn your work. Okay, so now we're on to row five because I told you that row five, um, I would help, I would do row four and row five on camera with you. So now we're doing row five. I'm just knocking everything around. Okay, so now row five, what we're going to do is we're just gonna do a single crochet straight across the row. Just keep going all the way across. This is really, um, once you get finished and you see the beautiful looking hat, you're gonna be like, wow, I made this. So one virtuous woman, she's very inspirational. I like um, watching her tutorials. And I just thought, you know what? I'm going to do an inspirational video off of hers. So I hope she doesn't mind. And everybody's inspired by someone. All right, that was my last stitch. I'm going to chain one and turn my work. And up, okay, so that was row five. So you're gonna go all the way to row 11. So my next row is gonna be, I'm gonna chain, I'm gonna um, crochet in the first stitch, two crochets in the next stitch, and then I'm gonna crochet all the way down until I have two stitches left. Then I'm gonna put two crochets in um, the same stitch, and then I'm gonna put one in my very last stitch. I'm gonna chain one, and I'm gonna turn my work. I want you to do that until you get to row 11. Your row 11 should be just single crochet across. So if it's not single crochet across, then you messed up somewhere, all right? I'll see you in a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and work on mine. Okay, you should be done with your rows four through 11. And this is the way it should be looking, just like this. And this piece right here, this part right here is gonna be the front of your um, crochet hat. So what you should do with your stitch marker, now's the time you would use your stitch marker. And I would just mark it like right here. You see where I'm marking? You don't want it in your way, but you just want it where you remember that that's the front of your hat. That's gonna be the front, okay? So it won't, it shouldn't get in your way when we're going around with the stitches. All right. So this is the way it should look, all the way up to row 11. And now what you're gonna do is you're, oh, this is a really simple part right here. You're gonna chain one, turn your work, and from rows um, 12 all the way to rows 34. So that's what I would write down on a piece of paper or get your uh, row counter. And from rows 12 to 34, all you're going to do is single crochet. That's it. You're not doing any um, increasing. You're just going to keep going and go all the way down. I'm just going to do this row with you. This is row 12. So let's go ahead and single crochet all the way down. Single crochet all the way down. your 24 stitches, that's how many stitches you should have, 24. And when you get done, you'll still have 24 stitches. Okay, almost done, going down the row with single crochets. And this, um, to be honest, this is like the rows 12 to 34 is the longest part um, of the hat to do, but you can put you on a 
little movie or put your radio on or and listen to some music and just keep crocheting but just don't forget to mark your rows off so like I, I chain one turn your work and then you're gonna do this is the way it should be looking just like this so you're gonna chain one turn your work and keep going now you want to row 13 so do this single crochet 24 stitches all the way to row 34 and I'll meet you back here all right okay I'll see you in a little bit okay I'm back and you guys should have finished your rows 12 through 34 so your piece should be looking like this your hat excuse me crochet should be looking like this I know it doesn't look like much but you have done a lot so far so this is how it should be looking. Now we're gonna start with row 35, okay? So let's see, you should uh, chain one and turn your work. So on row 35, what we're gonna do is we're gonna single crochet, we're gonna decrease this row. So you're gonna, let me put this, take this off of me and put my, put it back on my hands. Okay, I just wanted to check back in with you guys since that was kind of a lot of rows to complete. But you should be proud of yourself that you completed um, those 34 rows so far. Okay, I'm putting the camera on my hands now. Okay, so we're back over here. Now, so you chain one and you turned your work, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to decrease. So we're going to go in the first one, pull up a loop, go in the second one, pull up a loop. Then we're going to wrap around and go through all three. Okay? That's what we're going to do. And then after that, we are going to single crochet across to the last two stitches. Stitches, excuse me. So we're going to go ahead and single crochet all the way across. So we're going to leave two stitches. And then we're going to, I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to decrease there as well. Okay, so just keep going down. <clears throat> Yep, this is going to be a beautiful hat. Be proud of yourself. Feel good. I wore my hat um, to the store and I get compliments. People ask me about them. Um, I've sold a couple hats. Um, so once you learn how to make this hat, I mean, you can make money from making them. All right, so I'm down to my last two stitches, and we are going to decrease. We're going to go through, pull up a loop, go through the last one, and pull up a loop. And then we're going to wrap around and go through all three. Now chain one and turn your work. Great. That was row 35. <clears throat> and this is what I was talking about when I was saying write down your rows. So see, I wrote row 12 all the way to 34, and I just scratched them out as I completed the row because I don't have my, I lost my row counter. So now we just completed row 35, so I'm going to scratch that out. So rows 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40, those rows right there, that's what I'm writing down, um, you are now going to repeat you're going to do rows 36 to 40 repeat row 35 until you have 12 single crochets left okay so i'm getting ready to do 36 so i'm crossing that one out and i'm going to do row 36 with you so what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing that we just did to row 35 we're going to go in pull up a loop go in pull up a loop wrap around go through all three then you're going to single crochet until you get to the last two and then you're going to decrease again in those last two stitches and you're going to keep doing that until you have 12 single crochets left and once you have 12 left i'll come back and i'll show you what we're going to do next so i'm going all the way down here keep going we're doing single crochets this is uh, the first stitch I learned how to do is a single crochet and it's a beautiful stitch and it's very um, tight and nice and neat. That's what I like about the single crochet. 
It's a good stitch to learn. Okay, so now I'm down to my last two stitches. I'm going to pull up one, pull, go in, pull up two. I have three on my hook. Wrap around, go through all three. Then I'm going to chain up one and turn my work. Okay, so you're going to keep doing that until you only have 12 stitches left. All right, and I'll see you in a few. So that's rows, <clears throat> excuse me, rows 36 to row 40. All right, see you in a few. All right, we're back. I'm back. <laughs> and you, your piece should be looking like this. If it is, you're doing great. If not, go back and look at the video again and um, retrace your steps. Okay, so we are on, you should be done and you should have 12 stitches left, 12 stitches. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I have 12 stitches left. You count those V's on top and that tells you how many you have left. So now we are on row 41 and 41 all the way through 44. So that's what I wrote right here. I got 41. This is how I keep up with what rows I'm on. I'm on 41 to 44. It's only going to, we're going to go around the whole hat with single crochets. Okay. So you should have 106 stitches around the hat. And I'm going to be honest with you. That's what um, one virtual woman says, but I just um, actually, I don't count them. I'm sorry. I probably should. And this is where you're probably going to need another um, stitch marker. Because remember, you should have that stitch marker up here so that you remember that this is the front of your hat. So we're not messing with that right now. But I'm going to use a piece of pink yarn. It's a different color from this. So that's what I like to do. And I'm going to remember where I started at. So I'm going to go ahead. Remember, chain one, turn your work. And I'm going to go into... The first stitch with the single crochet and I'm actually going to put this stitch marker in that first stitch because every time we come around to this first stitch we are going to um, move our stitch mark marker up okay all right so there it's just a reminder that that's where we slip stitch when we go around so rows 41 through 44 is going to be around you're going to single crochet around the whole hat until you get back to your stitch marker where you're at you're going to slip stitch there you're going to chain one and then you're going to go around again and keep going around and do this 41 42 43 44 40 wait 41, 42, 43, 44. So that's 40. That, excuse me. That's four rows. All right. Four rows. You got this. You can do it. So we're going to start right there. We already chained one. We already made our first stitch. We put our stitch marker there. So we know that we've finished a whole row. So we're going to just keep going around the hat. And I'm going to do this first row with you. So... Let's get started going around the hat. Just keep going in every stitch around. Okay? So you know the top part is 12 stitches because you you left yourself with 12 stitches. So right here on the side here where it looks a little shabby, you can just pull your stitches. That's how uh, she showed us how to do it. And you just go into those stitches, go into those holes. Even if they look a little big, that's fine. Just go in there. And you can count your 106 stitches around. Um, that'll probably make it come out perfect. I, I honestly do not count the stitches. I just go in every single hole around the hat. That's just how I do it. I don't leave any anything around the rim left out. I just go in each one. Even if it's a little big, don't put two in there. Just only put one stitch. So if it's a little big, see how that hole's a little big? I'm only putting one stitch. Only one. 
we're not increasing we're just doing one stitch and so I think you get the concept I don't think I need to keep rolling with the camera because my dog's barking sorry about that I don't know if you guys can hear all right well I'll be back just go all the way around your hat all the way around just go all the way around so you get to that stitch marker and then slip stitch right there chain one and then go all the way around again okay four times and I'll meet you on row 44 see you in a few minutes okay hey so you guys should be finished with rows um, 44 I mean all the way up to row 44 right so your project should be looking your hat should be looking like this so far I know it doesn't look like much but it's it's forming it trust me trust the process okay guys it's going to be very very nice all right, so now we are up to row 45. And what you're going to do in row 45 is you're going to um, slip stitch. You're going to um, chain one and turn your work. And don't forget, use your, um, you're supposed to be using your stitch marker. The little thing, I have a stitch marker right here for the front. Remember, you're supposed to have that down there for the front. And this is the back of the hat. And you're supposed to be having a stitch marker right here. So I've done that for row 45 so far. And what we're going to do for row 45, I'm going to um, explain what you're going to do. So it should be like this. You're going to, um, what you're going to do, you're going to um, single crochet two together. So we're going to go in. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put this down so you can see. Okay. So we're going to go in and pull up a loop. Go in, pull up a loop, and we're going to put those two together. And then we're going to single crochet five. So you're going to single crochet five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to single crochet two together. One, wait, one. Go in, pull up a loop, go in, pull up a loop. You're going to have three on your hook. Yarn over the hook and go through all three. Okay? Then your next step is you're going to single crochet five. One, two, three, four, and five. And what do we do next? We single crochet two together. So go through one, pull up a loop, go through the next stitch, pull up a loop. We yarn over and go through all three. Okay, so what we're doing is we're decreasing. Okay, because you know this is pretty wide right here. So now we're going around and we're decreasing. Okay, so just keep going all the way around till you get back to your stitch marker and I'll meet you there. All right, don't forget you're going to pull up two right here, decrease. Then you're going to single crochet five. Then you're going to pull up two and decrease, single crochet five, pull up, um, and then you're going to pull up two stitches, and then you're going to um, decrease, okay? So don't forget, we're going to single crochet two together, and then single crochet in the next five stitches. Single crochet two together, and single crochet in the next five stitches, all the way around till you get back to your stitch marker. That's for row 45. All right, guys, you should be done with row 45 now. And your hat is starting to form. It should be forming like it's going to look like a, a Kango hat. All right. Should be looking like this. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's the way it should be looking. This is the front. It's going to be like that. And this is going to be the back. Okay. So we're going to keep going. Now we're working on rows. 46 and 47 46 and 47 you're just going to do um you're going to uh slip stitch you're going to chain one you're going to turn your work and you're going to just go around the hat in single crochets for two rows so that will be we're done with row 45 so see i'm going to cross that out row 45 now we're doing row 46 and 47 and i'm going to cross out 46 because i'm getting ready to do it right now and that's how I keep up with my rows. 
And don't forget to keep your stitch marker right there so you know when you go all the way around the hat that you've done one row. Then you're going to um, slip stitch, you're going to chain one, and then you're going to go all the way around one more time. So that'll be your 46th and 47th row. We're almost done, guys. Hang in there with me. All right. See you in a few minutes. All right. So I hope you guys are finished with row 47, right? 46 and 47 where you single crocheted all the way around two times. Guys, it's coming together. Look at there. It should look just like this. All right. You should be proud of yourself if you've gotten this far, okay? So now the next thing you're going to do, you're going to slip stitch. You're going to chain one. And we are going to be on row 48, guys. 48. So on row 48, this is what you're going to do. You are going to slip stitch. You should have already slip stitched. You should have already um, um, be turned your work. So you're going to um, single crochet two together in the first two stitches. Then you're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. Then you're going to crochet two together. And you're going to repeat that all the way around the hat. So let's do that. Um, actually, I've already single cro crocheted my two together to start. And then I'm going to single crochet four. So you can do that. One, two, three, four. So let me put my stitch marker back so I know when I've made it all the way around again because I don't want to... Um, there we go, right here. Put my stitch marker in there. So that way I know when I come back around that I've completed this whole row, okay? So we don't want to go around too many times. So here we go. So I've done four. Now I have to crochet two together. One, pull up one, pull up two. You got three on your hook. Wrap around the hook and go through all three. And then you're going to single crochet four. One, two, three and four okay and then what do we do we are going to decrease pull up one loop pull up two loops wrap around the hook and go through all three and then we're going to single crochet four one two three and four and then we're going to pull up one loop pull up two loops and then we're going to wrap around and we're going to go through all three loops okay so now you're going to um single crochet four decrease single crochet four all the way around and i'll meet you when you're done with row 48. all right guys if you've completed row 48 i'm scratching it off row 48 right here all done now we are on rows 49 and 50. Okay, so this part right here is prepping for our brim. Now, um, um, one virtual woman, she um, uses elastic in her hats. I did not use elastic in mine. Let me pull it up here. I did not use any elastic in my hat, and it fits just fine. I didn't have to use um, elastic in it. So, but if you want to use elastic in yours, that's fine. You can go look her up on YouTube, One Virtuous Woman, and you can go ahead and um, do your elastic in your brim before you start doing um, your rows. But I didn't have to do that, okay? So, and I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do that. That's something, that, you know, everybody has their own way that they do things. So, if you want to keep following along with me, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to take our yarn. I'm going to take this yarn. I'm taking this off. And now you're going to need two strands of yarn. So instead of using two um, skeins, I'm just going to use the other end. And I'm going to use two strands that way. So that's what I'm going to do. So you can pull your um, your other yarn from the, the end, the other end. And what you want to do with your hat, since you finished completed row 48, go ahead and um, 
clip, save enough space to sew in your ends. So go ahead and clip that and pull through just like this. There. So you're going to close that off. And you can, you take your, um, that's why I told you to have a darning needle, take your needle and you're going to sew this in so that it doesn't show. Okay. You're going to sew it in. So go ahead and sew your ends in. I'm not sewing mine in right now. I'm just going to tuck mine inside of the hat and I'm going to keep going. So once you get both of your threads like this, the end part and the beginning, okay, we're going to do. We're going to start working on prepping for the brim. All right. Here, I'm going to put this down like that. And here, we're going to do our slip knot. So, we'll do a slip knot. Also, we're switching to a different hook. We're not using, um, well, actually, no, I'm going to use the same hook to go around those two times. Okay. We're going to use the same hook to go around the two times so go ahead and put place your your um yarn in and connect your yarn however you connect your yarn that's fine with me but this is how i connect mine okay and we are ready to go around the hat and with single crochets prepping with two pieces of yarn going around the hat but I do need, um, we're going to use this. I'm going to take, I'm using my stitch marker now. I'm taking it out because I know which one is the front and which one is the back now. So I'm going to put it right there. So when I go, I know when I've completed a whole row. So you're just going to take both of your yarns. See, I'm working with two pieces, strands of yarn. And I'm just going to go around my hat. For rows 49 and 50. Both of those rows, you're going to go around your hat and prep for the brim. Because we are almost done, guys. Once we get 49 and 50 done, then we're going to start our brim. All right, so I'll see you back here after you finish row 50. So just keep going around your hat with the two strands of yarn. All right, two rows.